Hey guys, welcome to Mobile Creators, giving you guys the tips, tricks, and tools to create awesome content on your smartphones. And in today's video, we are doing a vlog test of the iPhone XR, just because it has a 1080p camera, it can film up to 60 frames per second. I think we're right now filming in 30. This is just on the regular standard camera app. And we're gonna be testing out, seeing how it looks. So since my life is pretty boring, there's not much for me to actually vlog about, but today I actually need to go to the grocery store. I am starving and my parents didn't bring home food. So we need to go and get some food. I need to get chocolate and candy. And I also need just regular food for when I work this next week. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So on the way to the grocery store, we'll make some B-roll because you got to have that fancy footage in between the different things you do and vlogs. Um, for that, I'll be using the rear-facing camera because that can shoot 240 frames per second to get us awesome slow-mo. And I'll also be using Filmic Pro for that just so that way I can make it fancy and have a little black bar. So, so let's go. All right, so here we are at the store. Um, this is just a quick look at what it would look like if you were to film in your car. I know a lot of people may want to actually uh, vlog within their car, maybe while they're commuting to work and back. So here's just a little quick look, what it looks like within a car, how it sounds like. Um, there's not a lot of noise around me. I know it has a kind of sort of echo within the car. It's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, let's go get some food. Yeah, could I get a four piece uh, tenders? Four piece tenders? Yep, and also a uh, four piece uh, glazed tenders. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Hello, and welcome to the McDonald's chicken tenders taste test theme bobber I've got regular and I've got the glazed tenders I was always told by my Mexican girlfriend that they're not spicy I think they are spicy mainly because I'm white but we are testing them live on this vlog to start let's try the regular And now to try the glazed, oh, I have to give me napkins. These are really, really uh, wet and saucy. They have a bit of a sting to them, but they're not super spicy. They have like an after sting, but they're more of like, we already put the sauce on these. You don't need any sauce packets. So these are white man approved. They are not too spicy for white people. You can actually eat these and survive. Not horrible. Thank you for joining me for this short taste test of these tenders. And I literally just realized that they provided me with a fork and I did not have to use my fingers to eat these. So which should you choose? Should you choose these spicy glazed tenders or should you just choose the regular tenders? This is what I'll say. The glaze has a really great taste to it. Go for it if you really like how it tastes. But if you're looking to get into more dips, like maybe the buffalo they've got, the ranch, etc., these might be the ones to go for because then you can dip them in different sauces and have different flavors. I think this one's mainly gonna be the glaze and the spicy. And if you start dipping with those, well, now, then things will get pretty crazy. 
So we're back at home, uh, finished eating, put the groceries away and whatnot. Just wanted to come out here while we still had some sun and do a bit more of a vlog look uh, outside, walking around, just seeing what that's like. Uh, stabilization should still be on. Uh, we're just seeing how that is. We actually got this going on right here. We're getting the whole deck uh, replaced. You also notice how pink my face is. That's just what the sun's kind of doing and this camera is doing. I don't know what's up with that, but yep. Quick vlog test outside to see what this looks like. Personally, I think it is a great camera to do for vlogging, uh, especially if you do hold it a bit closer. I feel like it makes the background blurry and actually like focuses on me a bit. Um, but I think it looks really good. I definitely use this for vlogging, especially because, well, I have the channel Mobile Creators where I talk about using stuff on your phone. So obviously I'm gonna say use it, but yeah, I really like how it looks. I think it's a awesome uh, camera to start vlogging on, or even just, even if you have been vlogging for a while and maybe your other camera's down, use this, um, or even use this as your main camera. Because then you have all the video editing on here, you have the filming on here, you export it here, and it all works out great. I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.